Hey everybody, so today we're gonna be cutting up some red calcite, and they are pretty big. This is coming out of Mexico, beautiful stuff, awesome looking calcite crystals. I mean, check this stuff out. Big pieces, we're gonna make some towers, 100%. It's kind of hard for me to juggle both of these and show you, but I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna slice this sucker in four pieces, going long ways, and make some huge red calcite towers. Some of these other ones, maybe we'll make some slices. Now, I've never worked with this type of calcite in terms of cutting it before. So I'm hoping it doesn't fall apart and keeps it whole. So we're gonna find out. Should be interesting because I've never done this before. So, and I have two more pieces of this and they're all pretty big. So we should get some nice big towers and slices out of this stuff. Let's get to it. I'll see you guys at the saw. So we're all ready to roll over at the saw. I'm gonna start with this big guy. And this is the one I was telling you about the towers. So a lot of times what I do is I'll look at this and I'll flip it around, I'll, I'll flip it in every angle, looking for the perfect way to cut this. So in regards to this specific one, I want to go the whole length of this and have the crystals, the big crystals at the top. So picture towers like this. So what I want to do is cut this in fours. I'm going to make tower, 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 tower. So picture just like a plus symbol and that's going to go whoop all the way through lengthwise. So we should get four towers out of this. The only thing that kind of concerns me is sometimes calcite like this can fall apart. And especially, I'm hoping not when I cut into it, but I really don't know until I get in there and see what happens. So if it does start falling apart, I'm not going to be too upset because I kind of am partially <laughs> anticipating that. So let's see what happens, though. Only one way to find out. Let's fire up the saw and slice it. Is wrong about the falling apart at least for now anyway cutting pretty nice and gonna work out perfectly with the towers so now I'm gonna cut each of these in half So we got four pretty awesome towers. So we're off to a really good start. Nice looking tower. How beautiful is that? Nice little chonkers. They're all really chunky little towers. And again, got to polish it up to really get all that red and orange to pop out. Another nice one, and thank God it didn't fall apart. <laughs> I was concerned about that, but seems like it's pretty solid material. So we're off to a really good start here. So I'm gonna grab the next piece and see what we're looking at, and maybe make some slabs too. I didn't think I would be able to because I thought it was gonna crumble, but I might be able to get away with some thick slabs, which would be really cool. All right, so I've been looking at this guy here and I think I'm gonna just do the same thing. I'm gonna cut this in four pieces lengthwise. 
I think this is long enough where I should be able to get some good medium sized towers out of this. And it's really cool because it has a lot of the white mixed with a lot of the red and should get some really cool patterns and stuff out of that. So let's uh, see what happens here. first break but oh well still gonna make a nice piece I'm gonna just continue cutting and see what I could salvage out of this guy sometimes you just got to shift gears and go with it but I was waiting for something like that <laughs> So we did have some breakage, but not going to slow me down. No big deal. Still converted to little towers. This one as well. Big front on it and a back, which will be really nice. This one kind of got away from me and keeps breaking. I don't know if I even want to attempt to take the base off of this to make it a little tower or just leave it kind of like this as a little little desk piece rough on the top. I might just let it be. All right. And here's the thing. Let me show you real quick. All these little pieces, nothing goes to waste with me. I keep all of these and will put them in my rock crusher. I will make some videos on that, crush this all up and we'll make crystal resin art. And definitely I'm gonna be making some videos on that stuff. Love to make um, pretty much anything out of crystals, but resin, this stuff works perfect and you can make some really cool stuff, whether it be crystal towers, pyramids, all kinds of cool stuff. So nothing goes to waste. I keep all of it. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to go to the next one. I have been looking at this guy for a little bit here and Still not sure what to do. I think I'm just gonna cut it in half and go from there and see what happens. When in doubt, cut it in half. <laughs> yeah. So this one, definitely my best one yet. Really nice looking tower this is gonna be with all kinds of cool, rough, and eventually polished. Beautiful. And kind of what I was shooting for on this to get a lot of the rough. Perfect. This guy can't really convert into a tower because I'm going to break it up. I think it would fall apart. So I'm just going to leave it as is for a nice little hand specimen. A little hand holder. Still nice. We grab a lot of this and we have one more big piece we are going to cut and then we're going to get this all polished up. And this guy. This guy's a monster. I'm going to go. I'm going to take a shot on this one and do something a little different. Maybe I'll go this way and try to make some slices. So 
So here's another one that's going to be just incredible. It's already pretty incredible. Took the whole bottom off and made a slice out of that. Really nice reddish, more yellow calcite. Just a, you could see the red in the in the middle there, deep, but really nice piece come off of that. And this will be pretty awesome all the way around. There's even a polished part on the back, but honestly, I like the rough better. And I got a nice, pretty thick slice out of this. I'm still a little concerned about this <laughs> because, and that's why I tried to go extra thick. Um, hopefully it's falling apart already. Uh, it's not gonna fall apart or break during the polish. So I might have to be extra careful. So we will see. And then I got a nice little end piece, like the end of a loaf of bread, but really nice looking yellow and there's some red popping out there. So I think this turned out pretty good so far and we're gonna just take this over to the polisher and hope it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys over at the polisher in a minute. Gotta get this all cleaned up first. So we are over at the polisher and let's see how easy this is gonna be to polish. It's very hard to see. I don't think you can see, maybe. There's a lot of saw marks, so I'm gonna definitely have to take that entire first layer off, like usual, but we will see how long it's gonna take. So I'm just gonna go slow because on this material, especially when I start to get into like these slices, I'm hoping that it's not gonna break on me. This is a little thicker, so I should be fine. Get a good feel for this stuff and how easy it polishes or how hard. So let's see, only one way to find out. Nice. So this is polishing up really nice. And we're getting a lot of those beautiful like bands that are gonna pop out of the calcite. I was hoping we were gonna see some bands and I'm seeing them now. Really nice and it's taking a really nice glassy finish. So this'll be great to keep polishing. Loving it. A lot more to go. Okay, let's keep going here and keep on polishing. I can't wait to get these polished up and get these all under the light and see what we got. There's so much here. <laughs> I got nice big pieces, so let's keep going. So check this out. This is really nice. Just beautiful with the contrast between the red and the white. That's looking awesome. Love it. Love it. And there's a lot of big pieces, like a lot of big slices out of this batch, which are really awesome. Check this one out. This big it's gonna be a big hefty tower right here. Looking awesome with all that red and the orange. Really cool. It's gonna take me a while to polish though. So <laughs> that's why we uh, speed it up. And I will say when you're polishing, and it's hard to see the uh, saw marks, but it's hard to not keep polishing and looking and polishing and looking. And I mean, I'm pretty OCD and 
have to get every mark off, but honestly, you gotta really take this first grit. This wheel is the for the rough stuff to take it down and strip that whole first layer off. You need at least three solid minutes, and that's not including trying to find any like really bad parts and kind of pressurized holding it down and grinding it out a little bit but you need at least a solid three minutes maybe longer depending on the material to really strip off that first layer and that's with some some pressure as well so let's keep it going Let's keep on polishing. We're on the next wheel here, and this stuff is polishing up beautiful. So let's keep it going. All right, let's keep going. We're on the last wheel, and this stuff is polishing up beautifully it's just a perfect smooth glass like finish so gonna keep going here and knock the rest of these out just beautiful red and white that is really nice just gorgeous and between that yellow and the red it has every shade in there of yellow to it like a deep orange so beautiful especially with all those bands awesome so far I'm loving calcite red calcite specifically so far because it's been really easy to work with Easy to cut, easy to polish, taking a beautiful glass-like polish, and couldn't be more happy. Let's finish them up. So, let's check this out. Look at all of this red calcite. I, I didn't expect to get this much out of that, but I must have at least 10 pounds worth here, I would think. At least. And it, it came out awesome. I, I mean, really awesome. Gorgeous colors. Polished wonderfully. Cut easily. What's not to love about red calcite? So check it out. I mean, it's got... Everything between that, a deep red all the way up to a yellow, and all the oranges in between, just really, really nice. And man, it took such a beautiful polish. That's kind of what I love about this type of calcite. It just takes that glassy finish. And there's so much going on in every single piece. All the bands, all the different colors, just awesome. And the, the one word I think of with red calcite is just vibrant. It has that nice pack of, of a good punch where it has a, like a positivity, creativity, and just a, a vibrant energy to it, which gives you energy. And... I'll definitely have to make a video on the metaphysical properties. That's one of my favorite things with red calcite, just that vibrant energy and that energy, just energy altogether, just stimulating creativity, energy. It's like a mental buzz of creativity and just a boost of energy altogether, physical and mental and awesome looking. Some of these, check this out. Look at all the, there's just so much. Every piece is, is a little different. This one, I have one side polished. That's just where I cut it. 
I, if I was displaying this one right there, just a beautiful tower, all the rough and all showing off all those beautiful red crystals, just tons of red calcite crystals. That one, loving it. This one back here, again, I took this side and did polish it, but I would prefer if I had this one, I would display it just like this. And this is just a big piece. And some cool towers. And this is like, it's sturdy. It's pretty solid material as well. I was concerned that this is going to break apart. Uh, it's tricolor calcite is another one. Like, same type of similar to this. And it's... It's got the same crystal structure in that one. I have shipped bigger pieces of that. And by the time it gets to the person, it was all busted up and fell apart. But I mean, this stuff is solid. So I was kind of concerned about that, thinking this would do the same. However, it did not. It does not. It's just a, a nice, solid material with just a beautiful, glowing, buzzing energy. So. Loving it. I think it came out awesome. Of course, let me know what you guys think. Some of my favorite ones definitely are some of the big ones that are like these rough pieces. This one I think came out pretty awesome as well. Really beautiful. Just lay it right on its side. Tons of color. Tons of pop. And just loaded with crystals. Very cool. I'm, I'm loving it. So. Yeah, I'm loving it. It sounds like McDonald's commercial, but I am. I'm loving it. <laughs> All right, so let me know what you guys think. And again, also, if you're, if you're interested in like a specific type of video, you want me to make something sooner than later, let me know and I'll see what I could do. I have so much more rough material to work with and just got to dig through it and see what I got and <laughs> see what we could make. So. This one, definitely a success. I mean, everything's a success. Sometimes things don't turn out exactly the way you want it or look the way you want it, but it is what it is. So this one, loving it. And I'm just loving that beautiful energy. I might keep this piece right here. I like this slice. Beautiful slice. Nice, thick slice. Just makes me happy. Just this awesome between orange and yellow and red and all that cool, just the patterns and everything else. Love it. So that's about it for this week. I will see what I could find in my inventory and definitely be back to make some more cool stuff. And these towers, I love these two. These come out pretty cool. Love the rough on the one side. Awesome. I will try to get some of this stuff listed um, on CorkdaleCrossings.com, which will take you to my Etsy shop. I am slacking. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> it's easier to create and make cool stuff than it is to get everything listed. That's the part I've been struggling with, but I got to take the time and uh, I have boxes of stuff I got to get going and get listed. So... That's probably what I'm going to be doing today, actually. But, uh, all right, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video, and come back soon and check out the next one.